guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you guys have subscribed to the channel for a while, you will know exactly how my trading plan is scheduled. Five days a week at the minute, that's about to go up to six. But we have upper, lower, upper, lower, upper. Each one has an emphasis, but we'll go into that in a different video, right? So, we are here in the home gym. I was training with the old man, but he's had to jump off for, uh, well, for a couple of reasons, which I won't go into, it's not important. But we are having an awesome time and a great session so far. I have a little, woo, surprise for you guys. What? <laughs> what? Well, that's right, guys. We got a big boy camera now. Hey there, Flicky. How's it going, puppy dog? Hey, how's it going? What you got there? Hey, what you got there? Flicky? Yeah, you! What you got there? Advantage of being at home is that I get to kind of mix the session with, you know, have, have a bit of fun throughout the session. Sometimes you just want a minute or two's break and you don't always just want to sit there or stand there. You know, I can, I can have a chat with the old doggies. Can't I, Jess? You're never too far away, are you? Jess? Yeah? <laughs> Doesn't matter how many pull-ups I do, how many times a week I try and do them. I've tried putting them at the start of the workout, try putting them at the end of the workout. Just doesn't seem to work for me, man. Pull-ups are just the hardest exercise. I don't know whether it's because of well, I, I don't even know, I can't think can't even think of an explanation. But anyway, you just gotta try, keep going, keep going, keep pushing and eventually the results will come. I found that with every other part of my training except pull-ups, so maybe it's just the last thing to come on, who knows. Do not get discouraged, do not beat yourself up about it. It's really hard to not beat yourself up about it, like, I mean, I'm, to be honest, kind of being a bit of a hypocrite right now and beating myself up about it, but, you know, you just, you just gotta stick with it, man. You gotta stick with it. Check out this zoom! So you guys will see the title of today's video. Um, I missed the deadline, right? And it's, I mean, I mean, it's bad, but it's not, it's probably not as bad as it sounds, but I, I did miss a deadline. Not something that's crucial that's gonna affect my career or anything like that, you know? Um, but one way or another, I missed a deadline that I said I was gonna hit. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but, um, yeah, like I said, there's, there's not much more I can say on it right now. We'll talk about it later. But for now, good vibes. Let's smash this down. One more time. This is the winning pose one day, the winning pose. Ooh. 
Oh my lord! Right. I am absolutely gassed. I think it's time to call it a day. Woo! All in the garage. What an absolute home gym paradise. Hey doggies! <coughs> yep, Jesse the Nutter. Look out. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about what I do post-workout, whether I drink shakes, whether I take BCAAs. Because obviously I've mentioned Lean's products here and there, but I never like put a massive, massive emphasis on it. Like you guys know I work with the company, but anyway. For pre-workout today, I had the Lifted Focus in the Purple Gains flavor, and then that would be followed by a protein shake, a strawberry milkshake. It's very important to note I do not have protein every single day. I don't take a protein shake every single day. Sometimes I have a scoop in porridge or something like that. I only really have protein if I feel like I'm low on protein for the day. And right now I've had like nothing. I had eggs for breakfast and a burger for lunch. Yes, I know, another burger. But my point is, is that usually I would have maybe probably another 20 to 30 grams of protein more than I have Today, I will usually have that in a day by now. So I'm gonna have a scoop, probably a heap scoop, which is probably gonna be about 30 grams of protein, just to make up for it, and then I'll carry on with my day just like normal. But please, 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 please bear in mind the supplements like protein, like pre-workout, are called supplements for a reason. They are supposed to supplement your diet, not be your diet. Don't say, oh, I'll have a, I'll have a protein shake for dinner instead of a chicken breast. Like, no, just if you have the opportunity to have a chicken breast, have a chicken breast. As, I mean, I work with these guys and I love the company, but I'm not gonna tell you to take this stuff over whole foods. If you have the option to take whole foods and, and well, to eat whole foods, then do it. If you wanted to pick any of this up, links in the description box as always. Supplement, not rely. <laughs>
It's a weird and wonderful world out there and I want to experience as much of it as I can. And I want to show you guys everything. I want to show you guys as much as I can and just take you along with me on the weird ass roller coaster that we call life. I like to think that I preach positivity, I preach happiness, I preach making the most out of every situation, good or bad, so always try and find something positive, all that kind of stuff, and missing out and losing a couple more pounds for the sake of missing out on these life experiences that I'll remember forever. That final week of university, I have so many memories. Center parks, I have so many memories, and I know I joke about zero calorie foods and all this kind of stuff, but that's kind of in a way that, you know, you shouldn't feel bad, and just not to take life too seriously. Don't be afraid to laugh at yourself, enjoy the experiences, and I feel like that's exactly what I've done, and I feel like I would have put that into jeopardy and almost been a hypocrite to myself if I hadn't have done that. I mean, no, I could have lost, you know, 15 to 16 pounds by now, but hell, I can do that in two weeks. If I try hard knuckle down, I can literally do that in two weeks. I can lose another three pounds if I want to, if I have to. And you guys know I've got that photo shoot coming up, so, I'm gonna have to at some point. Just not yet. I had, I had things to enjoy first, but anyway. That's the message I want you guys to take home. Put it in here, lock it up, keep it in there. Enjoy life, appreciate it for everything that it has to offer. Make the most of every single experience that comes your way. But still work hard and the results will come. Like I say, I've lost 13 pounds. I've still managed to enjoy myself, not deprive myself of anything that I wanted to do and still lose that amount of weight. That's, that's pretty good going. That's a challenge in of itself, if you ask me. Take that message, keep it in there. Just remind yourself of it every single day. So I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you have enjoyed it, please drop it a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'm excited to see what I can do with this new camera over the next few weeks. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope, you ha I hope you have enjoyed today's video as well. Exciting times ahead, guys. Exciting times. Disappointed and well, gutted, to be honest, that uni's finished, but hey. Exciting times ahead. Let's make the most of it. Together, we will grow. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll speak to you guys in the next video.